baby, it's definitely a good time to remember that time when Judge Greg Mattis checked not just Wendy Williams, but her entire studio for trying to stir something up. Talk about fueling your stuff. You, on the other hand, have admitted to being addicted to coffee. Absolutely. Secondly, you continue to show symptoms of your addiction. Okay. Lastly, what are those symptoms? Tell me. These nasal passages you keep uh, yes. coughing up. And I did Secondly, aphrin. And I did you, aphrin. This eternal cold that you continue to have. Yes. Oh, that yes. you can't have to come to work because every other day okay. now you're even stupid so low as to blame it on your baby, your newborn. How oh, low can you get? Gosh. That's about as low as you can get to blame your child oh. for your. Co Addiction. Then, the lastly, yes, lastly, judge. your bisexual activity. I'm oh, sure your no, uh, audience want to know about that. I'm I've heard that rumor. I'm sure and my finally, husband would love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he watches? Does he watch when you do it? Yes, don't wow. you know? No, I don't know. I didn't know you were that low down. And lastly, lastly, we can continue with what I heard about all those It's like eight. You had eight of oh, them. That's the rumor. How now you want to keep fueling that? Do you, did you write about that in your book? I wrote about it in oh, my okay. book. All yes. eight of them? Yes. I wrote, eight. I have an if you ask me, when the judge's voice hit the high notes, threatened to sue Wendy, and talked about her eight pregnancy terminations, her addiction, nasal passages, and her bisexuality, it seemed like he was guilty of what she accused him of. But Dad, Judge Mattis went in on Wendy. Word. But how true was everything he was saying? Are there receipts out here that prove that everything he said about Wendy is true? I've been on her show. I can hot topics for years now. From calling me a, a, a slut from the pole to bank robbing, robbing them and this. And then she turns around and the next breath says, if Tokyo Tony was my cousin, I would pull all kinds of strings. Oh, I love so it's like this. So I realized what it was. Did I not tell y'all? Mm -hmm. She wants me. <laughs> oh! Yes. Oh! No wait. joke. On God. On mothers. She want me. I know she do. Let me tell you how. Dan Not Tokyo Tony saying that she can confirm that Wendy wanted to hook up with her. All right, y'all. This infamous incident between Wendy and Greg dates back to the early 2000s. When Wendy Williams suggested that Judge Mattis was cheating on his wife, the thing is... Judge went to the show to promote his book, and instead of asking about the book, Wendy Williams began their interview stating that she keeps it real with her audience, and that she has no secrets to hide with that being said. Wendy began grilling Judge Mattis about an alleged mistress and the allegations that he was caught in a motel room with a crackhead and a woman who was not his wife. That might not be true, according to you, oh, about yes. this woman that you, that allegedly you, you slept with, Wait, you allegedly Wait, got her pregnant. Her. Uh, listen to, the, just, pregnant. let me draw up the skeleton, Judge, and then you fill part. in. So, as Wendy noted, there was a woman who alleged that Judge Mattis had not just slept with her when he was high on crack, but he also allegedly asked her if she could sleep with his wife, too. This woman had also said at the time that Greg got her pregnant and Wendy being Wendy. She just wanted clarification from the judge. Unfortunately, whatever she thought would be a clarification ended up becoming the roast of a lifetime. Greg then went all the way off on Wendy and stated that she admitted she was once on crack and could possibly still be taken some, and because of her nasal passages and a constant cod. Judge Mattis alleged that Wendy Williams was hiding her use. Matisse also believed Wendy could possibly still be on crack because she was allegedly in and out of that bathroom during their interview. And after Wendy continued to bring up Mattis's rumors, he decided to bring up some things he heard about her honey other. And calling Wendy an addict, he also accused her of terminating at least eight pregnancies and also said that was into women. For all free. your sponsors continue People must to, buy my book to get the information that they need to, to get. to finance this radio show knowing that you had eight of a coke addict and, and a bisexual. Room. Sponsors continue to put up money for this show. You know what, Judge? Hey, you, you are protesting. You better watch out for the anti 
crowd, I can tell you that. Let me just you say watch this. watch out for them. The water in the you better say something to them. Don't let, explain to no, me. Let, <laughs> let me say you something. You had no trial with me. That's let, who you're going to be Let me say, say something with. to you and yeah. to everybody listening. Go right ahead. See, you you, you, you are thought, the... You thought you were going to get me on here no, and hijack no, no, no. me. You but are the Tyson Beckford. You got the wrong person, darling. Maybe among other things that he said to Wendy, Judge Mattis said he did not know that woman. He had never heard of her and he said that she was probably paid to tell the story. But you know what I am more interested in the things he accused Wendy. Of for starters, one of the things that Mata said is that Wendy terminated eight of her pregnancies. Okay, when Wendy did her biopic, Wendy Wood Willems the movie, she did talk about terminating one pregnancy in the film. Wendy talks about a man who she said ruined her credit by renting cars on her credit cards without telling her. And in the end, she ended up pregnant with his baby. She said, our relationship, I mean, if you could call it, that didn't even last a year, when it was all over, my credit was ruined, and I was, growing his, seed, I went alone, and I went in secret, I didn't tell him, or anyone else, it was one of the loneliest experiences of my life. But you see, Judge Greg was accusing Wendy of terminating eight pregnancies, and this was in 2003, so he was basically, Suggesting that the eight terminations took place before 2003, how exactly did people find out that she had terminated eight pregnancies? Did she tell somebody and that somebody betrayed her trust? Well, she did also say that she had a few miscarriages before she gave birth to Kevin Jr., but eight pregnancy terminations. Y'all, that's insane. That aside, Judge Mattis also said that there were rumors floating around claiming that Wendy is by okay. I know there were rumors back in the day that Wendy was also actually into women and possibly had three assess with her ex-husband husband Kevin Hunter. In fact, some people truly believe that she had three assess at the beginning with Sharina Hudson and Kevin, but Kev took it too far and fell in love with Sharina. Then there was that tea about Wendy and Robin Crawford. The thing is Wendy interviewed Robin on her show and Robin confirmed that she had a romantic relationship with her late best. Friend Whitney Houston, Wendy and Robin then struck up a friendship, and after her appearance on the show, there was a publication that suggested that something more romantic was going on to that Wendy said in one of her episodes, I am no lesbian. I like women for friendship. I like men and I like the D. They titled the article, Wendy's been looking for female companionship, and Whitney's rolling over in her grave. Because Wendy has found it in Robin Crawford, unlike first of all, I'm not down with that all due respect to the lesbians and Robin is, married and she's got kids, and I'm not a home wrecker. I've never been curious, it's so, complicated being a woman, I can't imagine two of us in a relationship yesterday after the show, I got the surprise of my life at 55, I got a period, I can't deal with two women well. She may have denied that there was anything romantic going on, but there was a time when Tokyo Tony was asked in an interview how she felt about Wendy talking about her. And Tokyo said that, first of all, she doesn't trust her because Wendy was a 50 plus years old and claiming her daughter, Black CHY, as her best friend. Then she said that she had been on hot topics, calling her all kinds of names. But the truth was that Wendy wanted her. Tokyo actually went on to narrate a time when China had a party bus with a few people that were going to pick up Wendy. And her mom said she wasn't going to Wendy's house, but China begged her to go, and she did. She said that when they pulled up on Wendy's door, some frail old lady picked up and acted fake, hugged her, and apologized, according to Tokyo. When they left, Wendy could barely walk, and the security had to hold her. Uh, because she was high from snorting Coca-Cola in the bathroom. 